Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Wine with Jimmy channel. I hope you're all wonderfully well and tickety boo. So um, we are here to look at a wine production video for the WSET level four. So this is a part of the D1 or unit one for the diploma of WSET, the rather challenging but wonderful diploma. So this is actually the part looking at hazards, pests and diseases, and specifically here looking at viruses. This is only a two part section for viruses looking at fan leaf and leaf roll. Uh, so this video is available as free content on YouTube, but also found on the e-learning portal called winewithjimmy.com. Uh, and any videos that come after the first part of any series are only available on that e-learning portal. So the first video is always free in every series, but then videos two onwards uh, will be only available on the e-learning portal. You can find more information about the e-learning portal in the description below this video on YouTube or by visiting www.winewithjimmy.com and clicking on e-learning portal. If you do have any comments, questions or concerns, you can get in touch via leaving a comment on this YouTube video. Uh, please make sure you click subscribe or by the social media you see at the bottom of every slide or direct through the website www.winewithjimmy. So let's start to talk about fan leaf. Now, with all of these hazards, pests and diseases, we have approached it by talking about what they are. Um, we'll talk about the, um, the symptoms and how they affect the vine. We talk about then how it's spread and how we manage it. OK, so let's have a look at this little series on viruses. So the viruses are only twofold that you are required to know for the WSET diploma. So this is part one on fan leaf. Part two will be on leaf roll. So fan leaf virus, first of all. So what is it? There we go. What a wonderful picture that is. So this is a long standing group of diseases, which also you can be seen written as fan leaf degeneration, as you see up there. And it's found across the world. So this is a significant issue in the world of grape growing. The host for grapevine fan leaf virus is the Vitis species. And of course, the Vitis species of many. Uh, this includes things like Vitis vinifera, which produces most quality wine across the world, but also Vitis rupestris and hybrids will be affected by this as well. The spread for fan leaf virus is via the dagger nematode. So we'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, now it's mainly spread actually by um, virus stock being traded um, maybe potentially illegally or black markets and that's how it does tend to spread because dagger nematodes are not long distance problems they are normally very localized uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit later so first of all what does this look like how does it affect the vine so its symptoms so first of all the early shoot growth can be affected and can be stunted so slowed down in its growth and canes also can grow in distorted ways, so non-balanced ways. Infected leaves on new growth are often malformed and abnormally gathered with these sort of veins, as you can see in this picture. So along the veins, you'll find very yellowing uh, notes and a little bit of this sort of fans out as well. And that's why they say it's an open fan discoloration of the leaves. It's said to be kind of fanning out like a fan would do. Um, now, the there is often a mosaic pattern of dark green and light yellow tissue on the leaves, as we mentioned, or bright yellow bands or ring line patterns along major veins. Berry set, so this is of course fruit set after flowering, is reduced and yield losses can be up to 80 percent eight zero and clusters in fact may abort to tendrils so they won't actually grow into, into clusters 
with only one or two berries being produced on those tendrils. The effects uh, vary widely from uh, a little uh, to an extreme amount, and there are certain varieties which can be more affected than others. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon is said to be one specifically affected by fan leaf. How is this spread then? We mentioned this a little bit earlier on. So the virus is really only spread by the slowly, um, the slowly moving dagger nematode. And the dagger nematode is what lives in the root tips of rootstocks of vines. So they don't travel distances unless humans can make them travel. So this is by soil that may be attached to root systems or problem infected root stock. Uh, so the disease initially was enormously spread with the move to grafting vines following phylloxera and the unknown inadvertent use of infected plant material. So you can imagine, of course, this was not a very well understood uh, virus at that time and of course we needed a fix for the issue of phylloxera at the end of the 20th century and eventually grafting was that fix onto American rootstocks. But we tried a lot across Europe at that time and you can imagine that this virus then picked up momentum during this expl exploratory time around grafting. So grafting and dagger nematodes. Managing fan leaf virus, so there is no cure for the disease and eventually affected vines will have to be removed and this could of course add to the cost dramatically for replantation and sanitization. Before vineyards are replanted, soils should be heavily tested to check for the presence of those dagger nematodes which act as vectors for the virus uh, and clean planting material should only be used of course in the aftermath of this. So really looking at prevention by careful plantation and making sure that the geology and also your vine roots, your rootstocks are free of the dagger nematodes. If you are wanting to know a bit more about the likes of dagger nematodes, it's a very good idea to look at the section on pests uh, in this section about nematodes. We go into a lot of detail about that. Okay, so that brings me to a conclusion of this video. It's one of the shortest ones that we have here on viruses. Please do join me for part two, uh, which is on leaf roll virus. Uh, you can do so by, of course, looking at the e-learning portal at winewithjimmy.com. Uh, so go over to winewithjimmy.com, which you'll find the link in this video description below it, or by looking in your browser, and you'll be able to go on to the area there called e-learning portal. There is a huge amount of videos there. This D1 unit of viticulture for uh, the WSET diploma uh, we'll have around 80 to 100 videos available just for viticulture, uh, ranging from like this around sort of eight, nine, 10 minutes up to about 40 minutes a video. So there's plenty of things to help you understand and gain confidence in the WSET diploma. But as always, any comments, questions or concerns, put your comments below on this YouTube video or by social media or by getting touched direct through the website winewithjimmy.com. Until then, if you find yourself in London, in the United Kingdom, you know what's coming. Come and see me, please, at one of my schools or one of my bars for a class, a glass or a bottle. Cheers. Thank you very much. Bye bye.